Good morning, everyone. Today we will see an example for common sub expression elimination. Here, the given example is a equal to b plus c, b equal to a minus d, c equal to b plus c, and d equal to a minus d. So, so to remove the common sub expression of the given expression, uh, first we have to write three address code. Okay. So here, the three address code uh, for the given expression is the first statement is what a equal to b plus c. So here first we have to write a three address code for this. So how we have to write first using temporary variable we have to evaluate b plus c okay and then we have to store the temporary result into the variable a. So for that for that a equal to b plus c here I return the line t1 equal to b plus c okay t1 equal to b plus c and then we have to assign the result of t1 into the variable a okay so first line over then the second line what is second line b equal to a minus d we have to check whether the expression is already evaluated or not a minus d is already evaluated or not what's the previous statement a equal to b plus c here b equal to a minus d so the a minus d is not evaluated not evaluated so we have to write the code for b equal to a minus d how we have to write we have to use one temporary variable that is t2 t2 equal to a minus d okay and then we have to assign the result of t2 into variable b okay so these two line these two line is two lines are for b equal to a minus d okay uh, next c equal to b plus c c equal to what b plus c so here we have to check whether this b plus c is already evaluated or not then check the previous two lines what's the first line a equal to what b plus c b equal to a minus d so here the b plus c is already evaluated okay then we have to check whether the value of b and c are changed or not okay if in between in between this line the value of b and c are changed means again we have to write three address code for this statement okay otherwise we can lift okay here what is b b equal to what a minus d yes again initially a equal to what b plus c here b and c values are different but here what's the b value b equal to a minus d b equal to what a minus d so again b value is recomputed so we have to write the new three address code for this statement okay so for that i used t3 equal to t3 equal to i used one temporary variable for evaluating this what is this b plus c okay here what is a b b equal to a minus d so a minus d is already evaluated okay and stored in variable t2 okay so here instead of using the variable b we have to use t2 we have to use t2 so t3 equal to t2 t2 is what t2 is t2 is a minus d t2 is what a minus d okay so here b equal to what a minus d so instead of using b here we have to use the variable t2 t2 plus c e and then we have to assign that result into a variable c okay so this is for three address code of these three statements okay then come to the last one d equal to what a minus d we have to check whether the a minus d is already evaluated or not okay here where for, what's the first line a equal to b plus c it's not equal to the fourth one okay next b equal to what a minus d b equal to what a minus d okay is here the same thing 
came okay then third line b equal to what, c equal to what b minus c it's not equal to the fourth line okay so the fourth line is already evaluated in the second line already evaluated in the second line okay then we have to check whether the value of a and d are recomputed or not in between the line 2 to 4 in between line 2 to 4 here what is the second line b equal to a minus d okay next c equal to something so here the a is not recomputer next line d equal to what a minus d again the value a and d are not recomputed okay so we can directly write d equal to what b d equal to what b okay so t4 equal to first we have to write a three address code then we have to optimize it okay t4 equal using temporary uh, new temporary variable i return t4 equal to a minus d then i assign d equal to what t4 okay but optimization we can directly write d equal to t2 d equal to t2 okay here what's the first line t1 equal to b plus c it's needed okay then a equal to t1 it's good okay next t2 equal to what a minus d is it's needed okay then b equal to what t2 it's needed okay then t3 equal to t2 plus c it's it also needed c equal to t3 it also needed instead of writing again t4 equal to a minus d okay we can uh, use we can use the variable t2 we can use the variable t2 or b equal to t2 okay so for that for that code here i return d equal to t2 d equal to t2 so the entire the entire code so called as optimized code optimized code or using common sub expression elimination using common sub expression elimination thank you